the residencies are usually three to four days, um, sometimes a little bit longer, maybe five if it's somebody who's really um, here for a book tour, you know, if it's a novelist or, or a novelist and a poet. We mostly sponsor poets, um, but sometimes somebody's here launching something that's also another project. And sometimes Deborah will ask us to step in and also sponsor somebody. But in general, SWIM will sponsor five to six residencies a year and then pair that woman with another local woman. Um, they will do one reading. And the next night they will do the library event, which is at five to six when they offer the artist in residence to the hotel guests. And that's really fun because you can, it's sort of like an ask you anything kind of event. Um, some of the hotel guests come in just because it's free wine and cheese, which is always a big draw. <laughs> Sometimes you have no idea who's gonna show up. So we were sitting there with a poet who was relatively, you know, not, not really famous. I wouldn't say unknown, but not super famous, like where you would say everybody knows this poet. Um, and a very famous actor walked in and sat down and bought all of her books and his, and his wife, and they stayed for about an hour. So you just never know who's gonna to come to those events. And you never know who's staying at the Betsy because people are attracted to the arts and they love the Betsy. Once you stay there, you know, sometimes it's sort of a hidden secret, but once you stay there, you know that it's just a charming, charming place filled with unbelievable art. And there's music every night and there's always some kind of literary event going on. So they have a lot of repeat visitors and some of them are quite, quite famous flying under the radar. <laughs> <laughs>